Hi everyone, just a really quick daily check-in. Um, I didn't do much this morning at all. I should have done my diploma, I didn't. <laughs> God, I really, I really need to get my backside into gear with that. Honest to God, it's awful. I'm pledging that this week is the week I am going to a thousand percent get I've decided that by Friday, I want at least half of it written up. Um, so I need to really get my arse into gear. Um, today is Sunday, the 13th of November, 2022. We are a family of five living in the UK. And I am pledging to do a no slash low spend year. Or 14 months. Or, well, at least 14 months. Might go on a little bit further than that because I want to build a three month emergency fund and I want to pay a chunk off our debt because of the cost of living crisis to get us in a good financial position with our mortgage or better, you know, the best financial position we can get ourselves in with our mortgage. Um, me and my partner got up quite late today because we didn't have the kids, they were at grandma's. She brought them back this evening when I was at work. Um, bless her heart. Um, I might do a little video actually. I forgot to show you on Friday. My grandma, bless her, she gave me some free range eggs that um, she had a load off a friend. So I came home with six free range eggs. I came home with a little jar of raspberry homemade raspberry jam, and. Um, what was the other thing in the bag? Oh, and she gave me some stir fry sauce, um, which is really random. It sounds really random, but basically my eldest really likes my grandma's stir fry. And um, I've taught my eldest how to make stir fry from, like he tends to do like a vegetable stir fry from all the little, all the veg that's going a bit limp. Um, and then he adds like rice to it and stuff. But he wanted to know what stir fry sauce grandma uses and she um she said oh well sometimes i do it this way with you know soy sauce and stuff and she was like oh i buy these so uh, stir fry sauces from the supermarket and she brought one for him for him to make his his own stir fry with so yeah so that was in there as well um i have been at work this afternoon um, and, well, yeah, I've been at work, um, you know, in the pennies. Today has been a no spend day again. Whoop, whoop. Oh, we're getting good at this. Um, in case you're wondering, this that I log, it is basically, my direct debits come out. All through the month so if i was to log our bills as well i would literally never have a no spend i don't have that many direct debits but like i must have quite a lot of them are like small numbers i probably have i'd say 15 direct debits so if i was to include direct debits that's 15 days that i wouldn't have a no spend day of the month um, and then obviously we've got our food spends and stuff on top of that. Our cash budgeting journey is everything after direct debits. So the only thing I do not count within all of this is all our regular payments. Um, and all our car costs. Um, I also don't include... Yeah, it's it. Do, no, sorry. I include my car costs in my budget in this budget. So all the only thing I don't include is my direct debits. I do have TV license as a yearly direct debit. That is cash budgeted. Um, I might just do a separate video on what we include and what we don't include. It will just be a lot easier. But basically. The direct debits come out, you know, I put 
what I need to put for the direct debits every month and then everything that isn't a direct debit, month, a monthly direct debit goes into our cash budget. Um, I don't pay for tea, I don't pay for car insurance monthly. I pay for that annually, so that's cash budgeted. Um, TV license is cash budgeted. Um, yeah, so you know our day to day spends are all cash. So if we say we've had a no spend day, that literally means. We've spent no money um, because the only thing I don't include is direct debits. Everything else is included. Like, you know, my washing machine broke. I've included that because that will come out of our cash budget because to be able to repay it. Um, yeah, so everything apart from direct debits. So yeah, another no spend day, which is absolutely fab. Um, I have been to work. That was fine. A bit tired, but you know, it is what it is. And also at work, a lady had a load of books from a family member that they didn't want anymore. So she put them on the shelf in the staff room and she basically, I thought it was like a book swap. I thought you had to like put a book back to take a book. But she was like, which was fine because I've got loads of books that I could swap. Um, you know, I could read one of my finish reading one of my books, and if I decided it's not a book I would tend to pick up again, um, I would have swapped it. But she was like, No, you can just take just take one. Like just take whatever you want. Um I suppose almost like if she was to give them away on free cycle, but she thought she would give them to work to see if any of the staff wanted them. So I grabbed this book, um, I did read the back before I picked it up, which I do always tend to do before I pick a book up, um, and it's actually two books in one, um, so I'm quite looking forward to that. I do have loads of books, but I, I mean, how many is on my shelf here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that'd be 21. I know I've got one upstairs on my bedside table, so that's 22. And I'm pretty sure there are a couple missing off that shelf that are somewhere within the house. So I've probably got about 25 books in total, which I know a lot of people have a lot more. I also use um, Borrow Box. On my, I like a good book. I like to be able to hold a book, but I um, I do use Borrow Box, which is for our library. I have pledged that I'm not going to buy any more books, and I'm going to use my library. Um, but it's a very small library. I need to find out if my library card only covers. My, my library in my town um, because if it covers the county I might be okay because um, there'll be bigger libraries in the cities but um, yeah our library is tiny so but I do use their app um, where you, you know you download the book and I think it, they give you 28 days um, and I also use that app for audiobooks and I also use um what is it I can't remember what it's called I'll find out what it's called to let you guys know in case your library do it but there is an app through my library like I put in my library card details um and it allows you to rent um magazines or do you well, you, you kind of rent them, but then you don't rent them because you borrow one. And I think you can keep it for as long as you like. And then you, you know, you basically like kind of return it on the app. Um, and that does, um, 
yeah, it does does magazines. Um, I think it does something else on there as well, but I can't remember. I'll try and find out what that's called. Um, and I'll try and tag it down below just for anyone else that might be interested. L newspapers I don't buy. Um, I mean, I'm 30 and I do like... I I'm a bit of an old soul, I suppose. Um, I do like reading the paper. And when we used, where we used to live, we had a really good local paper because we were, you know, we were a big city. Um, and I used to read my mother-in-law's newspaper when I went around there because she used to get it like daily. But here, we don't have a daily local paper we have a weekly one so like i can go into the supermarket here or any news agents it gets released on a thursday so if i go in on a wednesday it's not like that day it's from like six days ago um i just find not much is like published in there and also not that I want to, I don't want to give away my job, but basically um, we get the paper at work. So if I do occasionally want to have a mooch, I um, read it there on my break. Or once it gets put in recycling, I just say to my manager, like, can I take the paper home with me? And she's like, you know, as long as it's gone into recycling, it's being chucked. Um, that's fine because we don't get a staff one. Um, but yeah, so when, um, so yeah, that's that. And we also have, um, like other people have like more national papers, some of them. So you know that's the same we can read them on our break if people aren't using them um and then again if it goes into recycling i do take it sometimes i do quite often bring them home once they go in recycling like in the recycle but when they go into the inside recycling bin um cuz literally all that gets put in the recycling bin there is newspapers so it doesn't get like they don't get dirty or anything um and quite often I'll have a read um I'll like oh well quite often I'll take it out I'll take them out of the recycling bin to have a read at work um and then I try and remember to bring them home to put on the fire um like make some little balls and to burn um burn with the logs um and another thing I have been looking into is I've been looking into it for years because years ago I used to have an open fire in one of my properties that I rented. I was I remember years ago looking at eco bricks and I've been looking at it on and off for the last twelve months since we've had the fire. But because we don't get a daily paper, I would have to try and source newspapers and a real good chunk of them to be able to make eco bricks um people do say you can use like cereal and stuff but even then like i wouldn't use eco bricks all the time i don't think but yeah we just don't warrant enough we don't have enough paper going through our household to be able to make them unless i could source newspapers which you know, I could just put the word out and say, could everyone save their newspapers for me? And I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem. And I think the kids would love it. Like, the younger two would love making them. Um, so it's definitely something I want to consider. And another thing I mentioned on my Instagram regarding the wood burner. When I'm at home all day, I drink a lot of tea. Like... I don't really drink anything else. Um, apart from like summer, I'll drink like squashes and stuff. But like, especially this time of year, I drink a lot of tea. And that means boiling the kettle. Well, I was considering 
buy in a big like two litre flask, boiling the kettle in the morning, filling it and using that throughout the day um, to, just to save a bit of money on like the electric. And then I heard somebody mention, do you know what, I can't even quote them because I don't know who it was and I don't know where I saw it. I can't remember if it was a newspaper article that I saw online. That's another thing. I quite often read newspaper. I follow a lot of um, newspapers on like social media. Um, so like we live in Wales, so I follow Wales online and I follow, um, you know, a couple of the other national newspapers. And I also follow my old town, my old cities, um, newspaper so I read a lot of their newspaper well they, their articles online um yeah so anyway I read somewhere about kettles for wood burners now maybe it's a generation thing but I had never heard of them I just I obviously knew like I knew years ago they existed because years ago that's how they heated like that's how they heated water they would put pots and pans and stuff on their on their like over the open fire and things so I knew they existed but I didn't know they still existed um or more to the point I didn't know that like the kettles you use on say Rayburns is the same sort of kettle you can use on a wood burner or you know whatever so I had a bit of Google I did a bit of a Google search and um, I was like right wood burner kettle see if I can get one and do you know what you can I mean you can spend maybe 30 40 pound right up to like huge money on one but I think I might look at investing in one of them because in the winter we have the fire on most of the time and the top of the fire, because it's a wood burner, stays hot for ages. So I think I'm going to look at getting one of them. And also my kids have really started... The two boys, my little girl isn't bothered. Um, my two boys have really started liking hot chocolate. My one, my eldest has always liked hot chocolate since he was like four. Um, but my middle one hasn't really got into it properly until this winter. So quite often now, I'm not just boiling the kettle for one cup. I am of an evening boiling the kettle for the three of us you know they only have the one hot chocolate they don't have like five or six before bed um my daughter likes warm milk and my two boys tend to have her little hot chocolate before bed so yeah so I'm gonna look into that um you know I'm just like thinking try, I'm trying to think outside the box a little bit more this time like last time I did a no spend it literally was low or low spend, whatever you want to call it, um, frugal living. It literally was, it was just cutting out the day-to-day -day expenses, um, reducing, we reduced our direct debits massively. Um, I mean, I haven't had a contract phone for six years. Um, six and a half years I'd say my contract ended my the last contract I had ended in the March time and I never got a contract after that I bought a cheap phone and I did a sim only plan um but I do drop stuff I do I drop stuff a lot um and I was finding that even with the best cases in the world Cheap phones weren't lasting me because the amount I was dropping them in a day. So um, two years ago, this time, around this time of year, two years ago, I 
bought a more expensive phone and touch wood it has lasted well it's still going strong um yeah so the only issue i'm having at the moment is i do use it for my youtube videos and i didn't realize i had about eight thousand images saved on my phone um and obviously now i've got my youtube videos and stuff as well so the other day it was like you're running out of space and um I was wanting to do a video and I couldn't do a video because I had to sort out the storage. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll have to get like a memory card for it or just try and transfer all my photos over at some point. Maybe that's something I could do this week while, um, while I'm doing my diploma. I can just plug my phone in and, but I mean my laptop storage isn't very good either so... I'm going to have to transfer some over to my laptop to then transfer them over to my portable hard drive to then transfer some more over to my laptop and delete the ones that I've already transferred over to my portable hard drive. Um, yeah, so it'll be like phone to laptop, laptop to portable hard drive, delete off laptop, phone front to laptop to put up a hard drive delete off laptop so it's going to be a bit of a hassle but you know it is what it is i'll sort it out um yeah so oh god this has been such a chatty video i'm so sorry um oh another thing i i do like to paint my nails um and i realized the other day that some of my nail varnishes aren't much good. I know a few tips and tricks to try and save them. So I'm going to try and save them. They've, a few of them have gone like really cloggy to the point where they're not even usable. Um, so I'm going to try and sort that out because then... Because I want to try and limit the amount I'm going to be spending on like beauty and hair and stuff um, over the coming months. Um, I do like to wear makeup but haven't really been wearing makeup day to day recently um which is fine um which is something years ago I'd never would have said you know years ago I had my face painted on before my partner had even woke up but um you know that's that um and I've always dyed my hair from um god since I've been about 14 um so yeah, but I've got a massive regrowth at the moment and it does need re-dyeing. Um, I've only gone to the hairdressers to have my hair dyed in my adult life once. Um, that was last December. Other, other than that, I've always done it myself. When it was a lot shorter, it was a lot easier. Now it's like maybe four inches, five inches from the bottom of my back. And it's quite thick, so it's um it's a lot harder, and I do have to get my partner to help or my son to help, um, because oh, I just I can't do it. I just find it exhausting. But I'm not prepared to pay hundred, hundred and twenty quid or whatever it is from the hairdressers, by the hairdressers anymore. Um, my kid, my boys, and my partner, we cut the hair ourselves. Um, so it's just me and my daughter that go very rarely to their dresses for a trim. Um, I have got some hair dyes to use up, so that'll be fine. Um, my 13 year old also dyes his hair while I dye his hair. Not like completely, he just kind of has, I suppose, low lights in them. Um, so yeah, so we do that. Um, moisturiser and stuff I don't buy because I'm prescribed it because um, I have really dry skin and my daughter also suffers with eczema so she has like her um, body wash and moisturiser prescribed um, which because we're in Wales our prescriptions are free um, like regardless, it doesn't matter if you're low income, it doesn't matter if you earn £120,000 a year, 
if you're in Wales, you don't pay for your prescriptions. But I do every so often have to pay for a dental prescription. I don't know if dental prescriptions are included in the Welsh, um, like, you know, whatever it's called, prescription thing. Um, but I can't get a dentist locally. The waiting lists are like six years long. Um, so we've stayed with our old dentist which means my dental prescriptions are English. So I do have to pay for those every couple of months because I use like a special toothpaste. I have to use a special toothpaste. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough chatting for now. Um, as I go along, I'll try and, you know, if a subject comes up, I'll try and cover it as best I can. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try and answer it. Or alternatively, you can message me on Instagram. It's exactly the same username. Um, and I think I've got the same picture on there as well. So you'll be able to easily find me. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to answer any questions. Um, you know, and might even do a Q&A a Q a, Q and a at some point. Um, just thought I'd quickly mention as well. Obviously, I don't show my face on here. It's quite public, um, as, you know, YouTube goes. Um, but for some of you who follow me on Instagram, you will now be able to put a face to the name because I shared some pictures of me and my partner um, saying, like, happy seven years to us yesterday. So, although you won't know what I look like at the moment because on all of those photos or most of them I've got different colour of hair different length hair um, in literally every photo and they are over the last seven years as well so it's a guessing game to which one looks most like me currently and actually I don't think I I like screenshot it off my Facebook so some photos showed and then it showed a photo and then over it it was like nine plus as in like there's nine more photos to show but I didn't show those um so I don't even know if our most recent photo is on there but gives you a bit of an idea of what I look like so um yeah thank you for joining me for my daily check-in for today um, I'm not sure if I said the date it's Sunday the 13th of November 2022 we are day 7 now of our challenge um, like I said still getting into this back into this I want to say back into the swing of it because we've always been quite frugal I think really well not always but since we first became debt free as a couple um, six years ago, now five and a half years ago, five years ago, five years ago, I don't know, yeah, about five years ago. Um, since that happened, since then, we've always been quite frugal. Um, but this is about really, you know finding new ways to save money, going back to our real low spend, no spend year and re-establishing all that. So yeah, so there's a lot more to come because we are really into the early days and just getting really back into the swing of it all. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Have an amazing week, stay fabulous, stay frugal and don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you're all up to, let me know if you've done this before, um, let me know if there's anything you want me to touch on or talk about or anything you're unsure about and I will either reply so other people can see the replies or if a question gets asked a few times, I will definitely mention it in a video. So yeah, 
have an amazing week guys see you soon bye